but dealing with Israel is so difficult. It's like being in a relationship with a narcissistic psychopath. He f and then he makes you think it's your fault. First of all, thank you very much for this interview. And the Gaza war thing uh, against all the people who were defending Israeli position, you as a comedian uh, had the strongest voice against all of them. I don't know if I had the strongest voice. I mean, many of my views went more the views of the Avengers, but I, there's people who work more than me and they, uh, they put more in the work. I, I was put in this situation uh, and it seemed that to resonate with the people, but uh, I, I don't, I can't explain why or how. But um, I'm, I'm glad that I said what I had to say, and it is, uh, uh, I, I am, I'm grateful for the response. I'm grateful that people are speaking up, and I'm, uh, and just uh, I was again, I was just put in a position where I would, I was asked my opinion, and I said what I had to, what I would have in my mind. Most of the Eastern people are seeing the West as the place uh, that uh, is going to help them to gain their freedom or fight for their freedom. How do you see the other side of the medallion? Like you are here in America now, you're having other challenges in terms of uh, expressing your views. I mean, there's challenges everywhere in the world. I mean, uh, there's a lot of uh, flaws in the American democratic system in the media, but at least we have space to speak up. And I'm grateful for that. And I use that space. Uh, and, uh, you know, we try as much as possible to expand that kind of freedom of expression because comedy actually is in, the, in, the, in its core, a source of freedom of expression, a way to express yourself. So uh, I, again, I mean, the, the, you can be living in a country that you like living in, but you don't agree with its policy. And that's what I express. And I think a lot of Americans, who, a lot of Egyptians, a lot of Saudis, a lot of uh, British people who live in the countries, maybe might, might not be aligned 100% with all of, of their country's policy. And this is why you try to speak up. You are actually a US citizen right now. And you have a political uh, view. And you have something to say at the elections as well. How the, all these what you are witnessing and the Gaza thing or the policies of the U.S. government is affecting your view as a voter. As a voter? Well, I, I already expressed my, what I, um, like I already expressed my opinion about that. I said I don't want to vote for Biden this, uh, this election. And I, actually my vote doesn't count anywhere. I live in California, so it doesn't matter if I vote or not. So, but I, I cannot participate and, and give my voice to Biden. And I can, I, and of course I, I I can't I can uh, vote for Trump. It's uh, it's against all my views. But um, I can't reward someone who is uh, not uh, listening to the simplest request of ceasing fire uh, with with a vote. I mean, it's the personal story. Uh, the the stand up comedy show is basically following my story from being a doctor to a television host to coming here to in America as an immigrant, and it's a very personal story that anybody can relate to, whether an Arab, Muslim, Christian, and whether an immigrant who are actually staying here in America. Uh, it's the, the personal side of the story that makes me Thank you very much yes. for having us. And yes. we'll uh, definitely see uh, how the crowd is uh, reacting to your show as well. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I love performing.